Okay, so this is part two. This is um, how do I actually use home and the style sheet. Um, so I'm just going to basically change what we used last time to include some of the very, very basics of how do I actually display our web pages. That's what the web server does. Um, first thing is, I need something here to put this home page. Um, and I need to link it to my style sheet. And at the moment, my style sheet is pretty ugly. Um, I have absolutely nothing um, in my style sheet. So let's have a look at it. Let's just do a quick um, body tag. Um, let's see, what else do I want for my style sheet? I want a body tag. Um, I might actually have. Um, I might actually import a thing from you know, like a font just so I can make it look a bit nice. I'm going to import fonts of Google's. I'm doing Open Sans and Boswell and Roberto. Um, and for my body tag, just um, I'll do the next previously done. Um, we're going to use Open Sans and we have dark background colour and a light blue text colour. Uh, so I've got a style. Not a very good one, but it's a style. In my home page, um, it's going to just say home page, um, standard HTML. Um, I'm going to put home page as a header. And we need to actually link in our style, style sheet. Now, this is going to be ugly, but this is the pattern that is required to um, connect a static um, file to a template. Um, so I need to go link rel equals style sheet and I need to say href equals and this, instead of just saying static dot um, or main dot css I need to actually put in a flask variable or template variable and I use these double brackets to say execute this little bit of code in here um, just close my link tag. And I say URL, I'm just going to for open bracket, and I say static, and I close. So I've got double quotes here, double quotes there, and static has a single quote. And then I say file name equals, and then I say single quotes, and I say CSS. CSS. So that's the folder CSS. Name. So it's going to find this directory and it's going to link to that. So that's my home page. Now to actually use my home page, I'm actually going to import from class, I'm going to import render template, and instead of returning just the string, I'm going to say render the template home.html. And what that will do is that will grab this home.html thing and it will do all the flask stuff so it's going to interpret anything inside these double spin brackets and create a flask variable. So I'm going to um, so I'm just going to call this with a pre-printer going online. Right, so it's going to interpret this. So, sorry about that. Three different pages, but it's just thinking stuff in the right. So, um, so main.py interprets the input actually. So let's see if this works. So it's a live test of code, never a good thing. So I go here, I click that, and it says home page. So if you have a look at that, it's actually styled it. It's actually picked up the home page and it's done that. So um, I can make changes to this. Um, this is the home page and I save that. And if I make changes to my Python file or my home.html, I actually need to restart my Flask server. Um, like, so I've made that change there. Without restarting, nothing changes. If I restart it and then reload it, now, I don't need to re-click this. I can just go back here and reload this. Um, the other thing I was going to show you is that I've got the home page and adding another app. App.route 
and I'm going to call this one um, dice. So that one dice here. Define, roll, dice. And I'm going to return. And I'm, I'm just going to return a random number. So I need to import random. And I'm going to roll a dice. So I'm going to say dice equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, and the reason I use the list is because, um, say I wanted to do a deck of cards, um, I can choose a random element from a list rather than just a random number that's been arranged. And then I just say return random dot uh, choice from my dice. And Every time I go to this dice page, um, it will run this function, create the dice, and then make a choice from that. So I need to restart here. Um, I go over here, and I need to actually go to dice. Internal server error function. Oh, I have to return a string. Not so. This here, if you're reading this. The view function did not return a valid response. The return type must be a string, dictionary, list, tuple. Um, it was an int. So if you read the error messages, it kind of tells you what it does. It actually shows you where you it made the error. So you read up, and I'm looking for anything that it's not in the virtual environment, but I'm looking for. Uh, it's not actually telling you where, but it's just saying it didn't return a. Yeah, normally we get a bit better one, so I'm going to turn that into a string. Best way to do a string is go F like that. Um, I'll show you where it is. So I select the entire string, just do a quote, squiggly brackets, and I put an F in front of it. And then when I restart that and roll the dice, three refreshing, and you can see I get different numbers. So that's the second. Um, the next one I'm going to show is how do I actually send that variable to a template so I can actually maybe load an image or something like that. So that's part one. This is, well, this is part two. Yeah? So we'll stop that now.